Storm Center 7 meteorologist Robert Gotro. He's here explaining how lightning can cause this kind of damage to trees. Robert, good evening. Good evening, James. This is just one example of many across the region where lightning struck trees, lightning struck the building. I was in it, as you mentioned earlier, and with severe thunderstorms, you have to worry about the wind, but with any thunderstorm, you have to worry about the lightning. And this tree in particular, right at College Hill Community Church in the College Hill neighborhood of Dayton, where you said Philadelphia, this tree is split in half. And when lightning strikes the tree, it heats up so much. Look at this bark. It's burnt, it's blown off, and not only that, we're missing a branch. The whole reason for this is because when a lightning strikes a tree, lightning itself is hot. When it strikes the tree, it heats up the sap and the water in the tree so much, hotter than the surface of the sun, thousands and thousands of degrees instantly, that it takes so much energy that it will explode a tree, explode the branch, explode the bark, and if it really gets deep into the tree, it could split the tree in half. And that's what it, you can't see the, the tree, the, the split from this angle, but this tree is split all the way down almost to the ground. So a very dangerous situation with this and many trees across the region, especially if you're even around the tree, it can be dangerous. So, so much energy went into this tree with the steam, with the heat that it blew the tree apart and yeah we had the the branch fall and i'm surrounded by branches if you couldn't tell so we had lots of lightning with these storms like austin said we have more storms coming so we're not out of the clear yet that full forecast is coming up in a bit james all right robert thank you live tonight in dayton forest and we're hours away from our entire view